we the youths of Dadar Marthoma Church would like to meditate on Mark 8, 27 to 30. Jesus asks an interesting question, who do you say that I am? This question is a punctuation on an earlier question that sets the whole discussion in motion. Who do the people say that I am? The disciples were quick with their answers. They knew what the world thought about Jesus. But here, Jesus forces the disciples to reconcile their own expectations of Jesus against the world's. The question his extraordinary life, teaching and works raised was, who is he? Jesus has long been trying to make his disciples understand that he is the Messiah and they haven't listened to him. Miracle after miracle he performed in the plain view of hard hearts and even harder heads, but to no avail. But Jesus finally sees fruit for all his labor. Peter believes, you are the Christ, you are the Messiah, you are the one we've been waiting for. The serious declaration reveals the blessing of spiritual sight that the Father had given him and that of a mustard seed of faith has been born in his heart. Peter answers correctly, but he is charged to keep the revelation a secret. Christ's time was still to come and his critical work on the cross could not be disrupted. We live among communities that operate in terms of other gods and other gospels. In all such places, we have the responsibility of making our confession that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God, and live lives that manifest the truth of our words. So, who do you say that he is? I am speaking to you individually. You have to answer personally, not to me, but to the Saviour who is asking you, and the answer has to show in your life. A bare confession is not enough, there must be living credibility. This man is claiming he is your God and your judge. He says that one day you are going to stand before him and you will receive your eternal destiny from his lips. Is that true? If it is, then it has enormous consequences for your life. Here is a man who is perfect in his nature, kind, humble and prone to tears of sympathy. We need to know and completely believe without any doubt that he will judge all men, that he is the only way to God and he existed before Abraham, that he and God are one. I find people refusing to read the Bible, they are too busy for Jesus. Life is too full for them to think about God and to think about death, eternity and redemption. There is all too little time for money and pleasure. The Bible builds up a composite picture of him. Who is this? He is both the Lamb of God and the Shepherd. He is the Suffering Servant and Jehovah Jesus. He is convicted as a criminal and he is also Judge Eternal throned in splendor. He is the Saviour who didn't save himself. He is the Defender of the weak who wouldn't defend himself. He is the living water who shouted out as he died, I am thirsty. He is the king of creation whom some thugs nailed to a cross. He is the light of the world who was switched off and buried in a dark sepulchre with a stone across its entrance. Yet he blazed to light again. May the grace and love of God be with you all.